Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakwadash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone who taught me his truth. The salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amon One Gabar back with another lesson, Lord willing to edify and to feed the lambs of Yahweh Bashmi Shai through the Holy Spirit, Rakak Wadash. Lord willing, this is edifying straight to the point. And I was watching this video recently uploaded from um uploaded uh from uh Vlad TV, his YouTube page, you know that that um that guy, you know, we all know who he is. He interviewed Jake, you know, pretty much his platform is based off of interviewing Jake, all right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, or, or the culture, so to speak. You know, that's how he, that's how his platform grows or whatever, or it is what it is to this day, you know. But anyway, um, the brother Yashalam has sent me this, so I was watching it, and I got I got towards the end. You know, the title of this one is called Math Hofa on joining black Israelites after seeing someone get shot in front of him. So anyway, first of all, we not black Israelites, all right? Hey, you, you, Math Hofa is not black, all right? My complexion is not black. There's no such thing as a black person, all right? That's an invented terminology. We're not black, all right? Because if, if you say, if you categorize yourself as a black Israelite, then that means there's other colors of Israelites. White Israelite, red Israelite, pink Israelite, blue Israelite. No, we're Hebrew Israelites according to the scriptures, all right? And... The, the, the Israelite, the children of Israel are different shades of, of brown, all right? Ranging from light brown, very light brown, to very dark brown. As as the earth surface is, so is the children of Israel, you know? From from the top of the soil is, is lighter brown, the deeper you go is darker. But it's all brown, we're not black, all right? So we're not black, just to put that out there. Anyway, towards the end of this video, that's when he um actually um talks about when he... Uh, so-called joint Israelites and, and the point of this video is to let you know if, if Matt math is to ever come across this video you know because he claims he watched videos he's been doing or you know soul searching or researches researching or whatever the case may be the point is is that time is short all right time is short time is very short and we are at the end and the decline of this kingdom as we know it all right, this current society as we know it is getting ready to collapse. The the you know the the the, the fam famine is coming, food shortages are coming, plagues, pestilence, diseases, everything horrific that you can possibly imagine is getting ready to happen, and there's only one person that's orchestrating it, and that's the heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, our Lord, which the names are Yahweh and Yahweh But there's a particular part of this video towards the end where he made a statement. But he kind of he pretty much makes mockery off of the prophets, or he or he mocks the prophets that are on the streets, and you know Vlad is laughing along with it, which Vlad is Vlad is not an Israelite, all right? He's a heathen, all right? And he he pretty you know like I, I was I was gonna say in the beginning, but he pretty much exploit Jake, all right? His whole platform is pretty much based off of exploiting Israelite so-called culture, and that's just what the so-called small hats do. All right, they they exploit Israelite culture and, and they make a they make their living off of that, and that's that's since the beginning of time. All right, since entertainment came on the scene and Jake, you know, got out of you know hardcore bondage, so to speak, the small has just been you know exploiting our people and making money off of them. Hollywood, there's a there's a movie that that really depicts that show, a series. Um, it's called The Get Down, where it show you how hip hop you know started out in the Bronx. And you had the small hats that was exploiting it. You know what I'm saying? The Wu-Tang series show it. And many other different series show it. All right? But that, that's that's Vlad pretty much. Just exploiting Jake. To come on this platform and to give him, you know, for the views or whatever. But anyway, you know, it ain't about Vlad. Um, Math Hofa, you know, which we all, you know, most of us who are into battle rap or was into battle rap. Me, myself, I used to be into it. I, I don't really care for it no more. But early, you know, early, uh, you know, late junior high school years or around that time, I was into it, you know, early high school years, but I really don't care too much for it anymore. But anyway, you know, Math Hofa was one of the guys that were on the scene. You know, he's known for that slap at that, you know, in that school auditorium, 
you know, I forget who he was. I forget the dude name off the top, but when he smacked the fire out of him, and it was a whole brawl in the school, you know, that's Math Hofer. But anyway, um, you know, pretty much he made a statement. Let me let me find the point and I'm gonna play it. Hold on. Okay. I got involved with uh, the Israelites. All right, that's it right here. Let me let me go a little bit more forward. Well, you said you said it right the first time. You said it right the first time. There's only one Israelite. Israelites mean he prince power. He's the prince of the power. But then Vlad jumps in and says, oh, the black Israelites. No, there's no there's no such thing as a black Israelite. There's no such thing as a white Israelites. There's no such thing as Israelis. It's Hebrew Israelites. All right. According to the lineage of our forefather, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. So, you know, watch out for Esau, man. He, he tried to Manipulate your words. You ain't no black Israelite. You are a Hebrew Israelite according to your nationality or the sea line of your forefather. So let me play on. All right, well, it's all fun and games until shit hit the fan. You know, I'm gonna say it like that. And matter of fact, let me turn the camera. All right? It's all fun and games until, you know, shit really hit the fan. And I say that because, you know, he started scoffing or mocking at the end. All right? Because, but the ones that you've seen, the one that you're talking about, the one that Vlad is talking about on Times Square, which, you know, from the Apostles, Elder bishops on down been out in those areas since the early 90s, late late 80s, early 90s, early 2000s, 34th and 7th. That's when, you know, myself and brothers came into this truth via the YouTube era. But it was all in Manhattan, lower Manhattan, 34th and 7th. All right. And those are the men, the prophets, you know, like 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 um, vocab call it, you know, and these other people, Christians called the one Westers, the men that the men that pretty much came out of one West. And then branched off. That's where the truth came from. All right. And that's what you see today. And those are the men that are teaching, you know, you know, really mainly the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that are really teaching this truth. All right. Those are the, those are the men that got it. You know, I don't know. I don't know who's who math is referring to when he said not those guys that, that stand on 34th and, you know, or, or Times Square and, and, and curse, you know, whatever he just said. Let me play it back, man. You know. All right, let me get that real quick. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going I'm to I'm play and stop it. This is Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. And this is the King James Version, all right? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Bear the Most High and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. You want to know what's the purpose of life? Why was you, why you was created? Why man was created, why women were created, why children were created, why life was created. It was simply to serve the Most High to keep His commandments. Point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That, that's it, you know? We're, we're, we're way beneath the Creator. And if, if the Creator wants to create you to, with a specific task, that's the task that we got to follow. And the task is written in the scriptures, which you know, I'm reading from my phone. But right here, the, the Holy Bible, all right, which contained the law, statute, and commandments. The history, um, prof prophetic prof prophecy, prophetic events taking place, um, Psalms, which a lot of the Psalms are prophetic, 
you know, and many other things, exhortation, everything, the key to life is written in these scriptures. All right. And the whole duty of man is to keep the commandments of the most high. In these times, we do it to the best of our ability because we understand that we're under bondage. All right. And, it, and there's but so much we can do. But the things that we can practice, we must do it to the best of our ability because scriptures tell you that faith without works is dead. All right. Faith without works is dead. So you can say you believe, but if you're not putting in the work, then where's your belief? So going back to math, you know what I'm saying? You say, you know, you started following the Israelites. Well, you, matter of fact, I got a precept because, um, then, um, I mean, let me, let me get the, let me get how it go. All right. I got it. Um, Hold on one second. All right, this is the book of Luke, chapter 12 and verse 48. All right, and math, being that you know, and, and you know, this is really pretty much to all them celebrities, you know, I'm not saying he's a celebrity, but you know, he's well known, you know, in, in the Jake world, in the Jake world, when I say Jake, I mean you Israelites, but these are the entertainers that watch us, the, the NBA players, the NFL players, the, the, the MLB players, the boxers, the MMA play, um, fighters or whatever, the Hollywood stars. They all know about the Israelites, man. This thing is no secret. All right. The Lord said that when this gospel shall be preached throughout the four corners of the earth, then shall the end come. We in the end and we are witnessing certain events, major events taking place that all point towards the downfall of the so-called white man's kingdom. All right. And the end of Babylon. So, you know, for, for math, pretty much, I'm going to say this. This is the book of Luke. I'm going to let the scripture say this. This is the, well, the scripture is going to say, and I'm going to read it. Luke 12 and 48. But he that knew not, matter of fact, let me read up at verse 47. All right. And these, for, these are for you, you know, you Jakes, you Israelites that say, that say that you know you're Israelite. You say you know you're Israelite, but it goes beyond just knowing. Yeah, you know your roots, you know your culture, you know where you came from. But now what? Now what? What you going to do about it now? You know what I'm saying? I understand that everybody's not set up to be a prophet, but that's not my call. You know what I'm saying? Our, our job is to, to teach the truth, to exhort you. And then you take that and, and you run with it. You know what I'm saying? We we not out here on, on no, you know, it's okay. You could just sit back and watch and just keep, you know, doing what you're doing. No. Time is short. That's the point of this video. Time is short. So if you really fear the most high, which his name is Yahweh and his son is Yahweh Shad, and you you gonna do what you gotta do in order to get right before he comes back. So this is the book of Luke 12 and 48. But he that knoweth, matter of fact, 47, Luke 12 and 47, and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself. Alright, you know the will of the Lord. If you if you say you know you're an Israelite, then it comes with it comes with um it comes with a with a with a with a job, alright, with a duty, with a it come, what's the word, man? The word's on top of my head right now, but, you know, it, it, it comes with, with, with a, a particular format to follow, all right? It ain't just I'm an Israelite and that's it. Having barbershop talks, talking about we're Israelites and that's it. Back to your old self, all right? It ain't no, hey, the Lord talks about being lukewarm, all right? Lord, well, I may get that in the Revelation, the third chapter, about being lukewarm, all right? Either you hot or you cold because Yahweh Shah is coming back. The, the only begotten son, the Lord is coming back. All right, and everybody's gonna have to give an answer in that day. All right, it's all funny games and, and scoffing and mocking until shit hit the fan. You know what I'm saying? And the videos like this, you know, it ain't hate; it's out of love. You know what I'm saying? Is we letting it, we letting it be known what it is that this is what it is. You know, the scriptures say, "Through fear we persuade men; through the fear of the Lord." Now, I got that pulled up too. So here's the book of Luke 12 and 47, and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself. Neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. Why are you going to be beaten with many stripes? Why is that servant going to be beat with many stripes? Why? Because it says, but he that knew not and did commit the things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whom much is given of him shall much shall be much required. So the servant that knew to do the Lord's will, because you know, you got the keys, you got the answers, you, you woke, you, you, you claim that you woke. So now that you, you woke up, now what you going to do? All right. Now what you going to do? So now when the Lord come back, but you don't do his will, you're going to be held accountable because you knew. All right. Versus the man who didn't know, because it says, 
but he that knew not. So these people that don't know, don't care, don't acknowledge it, are going to be, um, um, excuse me, it says, but he that knew not and did commit the things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. So they're going to be beaten with lesser stripes than a man who knew to do better. For unto whom soever much is given, of him shall much be required. So math, you know, you have, a, you, you, you have, you know, you have the knowledge, you understand that you are a, so, uh, a Hebrew Israelite, all right? Not a black Hebrew Israelite, but a Hebrew Israelite from the forefather, from the from the um, um, lineage of our forefather, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know that. So now much is going to be required of you. You know, I don't know what you're doing in your daily life or whatever in your personal time. We don't know, you know, but that's between you and the Heavenly Father. Only you know that. You know what I'm saying? But that, that thing you did at the end of the video when you start laughing and mocking, talking about, look, you know, the guys that look like they're going to fly off into the air. Well, you you talking about us. All right. The men that are out there laboring, you know, putting their lives on the line in order to, seal, you know, uh, uh, spread the word for the elect to be sealed. All right. So anyway, it says of him shall much be required and to whom men have committed much. Of him they will ask more all right so you know not you you know now you know so you know people are gonna be asking you you know you may have people asking you for answers now you got to give uh proper answers you got to be ready to give an answer to every man that asks according to the scriptures all right so um let me play the rest of this i got involved with uh the israelites Oh, the black Israelites, the black Israelites, but not not the ones that the that's where you're trying to get. Yeah, not not the, the guys that the look like fans. they're gonna <laughs> hand you a pamphlet and fly away into the sky. You know. Now, what I just picked up was I could be wrong, but I could be wrong. But what I just picked up because he's sitting in front of Vlad, aka a Edomite, all right, a Edomite, was um was this? Hold on one second. Jeremiah 2 and 33. It says, Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore thou therefore hast thou taught. Let me read again. Why trimmest thou way to seek love? So that's the question. Why are you trimming your way to seek love? Now, what Jake would do, I'm not I'm not necessarily accusing him for this, but I'll pick this up. Jake would be in front of Esau and then, you know, trim their way, or in other words, cut off certain things about themselves just to seek love from that individual well why are you doing it all right why are you doing it well we know why you know what i'm saying we boldly yeah we are those men that stand on the corners and and and, and tell tell the edomites that they're going into captivity and slavery and and so on and so forth we those men on the corner that you're talking about right now all right and we don't care we don't give a damn all right scriptures again why trim is thou thy way to seek love therefore has thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways all right, so hey, you better fully repent. Ain't no, ain't no being, ain't no being lukewarm inside of this thing. Now let me get that since I said it. Revelation three and verse fifteen. It says, "I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot." So, the Lord, this is the red letter. Yahweh Shai is saying this. All right, our Messiah, the Lord Himself is saying, "I know your works, that thou art either cold." Or you hot I would rather you were cold or hot So the Lord rather you be either cold or you hot So then because thou lukewarm Meaning right in between in the middle Alright which math you in the middle right now Alright it says So then because thou lukewarm And neither cold or hot I will spew thee out my mouth Alright And and we could go I could go into the, to the extremities of the Lord spewing Matter of fact let me do this real quick let me do this real quick. Let me get the word spew. All right. Let me get the word spew. The book of Revelation chapter 3 and verse 15, uh, 16. Let me get that word spew in the Greek. All right. Um, the word is simply. It's to vomit. To vomit forth. To throw up. To spew. Okay, now we know vomiting is is a is a violent act, right? Now when we read on even more, it says this is the this is the kicker right here. It says to reject with extreme disgust. Look at it. All right? To reject 
with extreme disgust. You ever reject something with extreme disgust? Like you ever ate something that tastes so nasty that you you just straight up spit it out all over the place and then you, you your face was all screwed up and you was angry that you even ate it or put it in your mouth? That's how the Lord is going to view or that's how he's going to deal with anybody that's in between. You know what I'm saying? This don't this only ain't just going out to math. You know, this this serves as a lesson for all of us because we gotta be on fire for Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? We gotta be on fire for the Lord, for this truth, for this gospel. You know, so this is just a, a general, you know, video at that, you know what I'm saying? So that's the word spew. Because you because you're in between, I'm gonna spew you out. I'm gonna reject you with disgust. You know what I mean? So let me see. I got I got more scriptures. This probably be I'll probably go another ten minutes yeah. long. Not. Again, he had to clarify that. No, 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 not not the hardcore ones. Not those ones. Which ones you talking about? Which ones you talking about? The ones over there, the the, the type that are over there in Demona, Israel. You know, which ones you talking about? Because the real prophets, the real prophets are out in the street, in the street corners. Let me get the scripture real quick. Let me get the scripture real quick. Um this is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 1 and verse 21. It says, For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So we looked at as fools, even to those that know that they Israelites. They look at us as fools. Standing on the corners, you know, wearing our garments, looking like we about to fly and take off. Like Superman with, with our capes, right? That's what that, that's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. We're standing there looking like fools. So even to this guy right here, math, you know, math, hopeful, you know, we look like a fool. But you claim you're an Israelite. So which one is it? Are you in, are you are you in it? Are you in it or are you out of it? You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying this because it's the truth. All right. It is the truth. And the Lord, the Lord is not dealing with no in-between. And things are about to get real hectic. All right, we are we are experiencing inflation right now. The news you getting is, is just all about inflation. It's all about food shortages. It's all about high gas prices. It's all about energy crisis, rolling blackouts coming this summer, um, recession, which will lead to depression. Okay, we are dealing with uh, wars and rumors of wars. Um, the USSR getting ready to band back together. These nations that were once in league with the United States are now beginning to hate them, you know, which which it will increase even more. And that's all prophecy. We are in these times, you know, and that's what we preaching. So, you know, what are you going to do in these times? What are you going to do? So let me read that again. But the most I have chosen the foolishness, the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Um, matter of fact, I was reading 21, but that, that's good, too. I'm going to jump back down to that. Let me go back to 21. I'll jump down to 27. It says, For after that in wisdom, um, after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. So really that's talking about Yahweh Shah. All right. Because if you rejected Yahweh Shah, then you rejected the Father. All right. So those Israelites that rejected the Yahweh Shah, they rejected the Father and they were wise in their own eyes, which they weren't even wise to begin with. It said, it pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching. Or feel it pleased Yahweh Shah, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, which is the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So the Lord requires us to do this. Now, Matthew, you ask, what's the purpose of life? And what's the purpose of this? And what's the purpose of that? Fear the Most High and keep His commandment. Also, the scriptures just say that by the foolishness of preaching. All right? That's part of the works. Preaching is part of the works. You know what I'm saying? Preaching is part of the works. So you better, you better get it right. You better get it right before it's too late. You know, that money don't mean nothing. The fame don't mean nothing. I'm not just talking about you. I'm talking about all the celebrities. That money and that fame don't mean shit. Real soon, this man, the, 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 the rulers of this world, the Edomites, the elites, Esau, Edom, is about to implement the, the M-A-R-K. All right, the M-A-R-K. I'm spelling it out. M-A-R-K of the B-E-A-S-T. All right, according to Revelation 13, verse 16, 17, and 18. All right, and anybody that take it is going to be penalized pursuing the Revelation 14 and verse 9, 10, about, right, about the lake of fire and, and so on and so forth. Pretty much you're going to you're gonna get put to death for consenting to, to the beast man agenda that's coming. All right, so you better get it right. All right, you better get it right because time is short. The clock is ticking. 
So let me jump down to 27. Matter of fact, I'm, let, me, let me jump down to 26. For you see your calling brethren, for you see your calling brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many wise men after the flesh, and not many mighty men, not many noble are called. So not the, the greatest men, the greatest entertainers, the mighty men, the, the top people in this world, they're not called for this. They're not called to do this. It says, but the Most High have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. What's the foolish things? Us. All right. The men, the men of the Lord, the, the, the hopeful men of the Lord, I'm going to say. You know, through humility from the men of Great Millstone, the apostles, our teachers, the elder bishops, the brothers, the prophets, the real men that are teaching on the street corners, the one that you said look like they're going to fly off with capes, you know, you know, and, and shoot a star of David out their chest like some, some weird, whatever you're talking about. The Lord chose us to confound the wise. Henceforth, we got people scoffing and mocking and laughing because we, we look like fools. But that's okay. A uh, Wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the faces of such as have afflicted him. All right? So the righteous man is going to stand in boldness knowing that, you know, we, we had it right the whole time. And the Lord is going to magnify us in these last days. All right? So it says, but the Most High have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And the Most High have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. So the Lord uses us, all right, to come up to prophesy against the strongholds that Esau, Edom have set up. Because that would be considered the wise things of this world, the mighty things of the world. But what we do would be considered the weak things of this world. And, you know, we crazy bug out standing on the corners. And making videos, you know, in our homes and, and preaching and teaching. And, hey, we're going to see who going to get the last laugh at the end of the day. Let you me play the rest. That's what I'm going to say. All right? You better repent. All right? And that's that's the point of this thing right here, this lesson. And, you know, be careful, man. Hey, let me read this real quick. This is what the Lord said in the book of Matthew. Let me get this real quick. Matthew 18, the book of Matthew chapter 18. Let me read this real quick. It says... 18 and 6, Matthew 18 and 6, but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me. This is this is Yahweh speaking. This is the red letter. The Lord. Let me turn it back around because I'm done playing. Alright, this is the Lord speaking in the red letter. Okay. It says, But whosoever shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone would hang about his neck, and that he would drown in the depth of the sea. Alright, you hear that? So the Lord said. You know, whoever offend one of the little ones which you believe in him, which we believe in Yahweh, right? Which is the true names. Not no Jesus Christ, not no God, not no most high Christ blessed or whatever. It's Yahweh and Yahweh, and we believe on him. So be careful who you offend. Alright, be careful who you offend. That's why I say, you know, if you ever come across this video, bro, just straight up just repent. Take heed and repent. You know, take heed and repent because the because time is short. Time is short. That's why the Lord say in the book of Matthew 7 um, that not everybody that say, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of the Father which is in heaven. Let me read this. This is 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, we persuade men. So through the terror, we know the terror of the Lord. We know the things that are coming. We know the calamities that's about to arise. We see it, all right? Things are going to get real hectic. Shit is going to hit the fan. And no, no guns, pistols, glocks, or whatever the hell you got is going to be able to shield you when all hell break loose. All right? The man, the, the enemy that's coming up against us is coming strategically and tactically, all right? And the Lord set him up to do that. So don't think you could outsmart the devil. You know what I'm saying? The only way to outsmart the devil, so to speak, is by being covered under the shadows of the Almighty. So it says, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashmir Shah, we persuade men. That's why, you know, we do videos like this to exhort you, to persuade you, to fear the Lord, just as we fear the Lord. And we know that this thing is coming. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, sometimes, you know, like the scripture saying, Ezekiel, the third chapter, and also the 33 cha 33rd chapter about the, set, the watchmen that set up and blowing the trumpet. Sometimes the spirit will hit you and you see something wrong. You, you got to blow the trumpet, you know, hence why I'm doing this lesson. You know what I'm saying? I really don't care about Vlad TV or none of that, but the Spirit compelled me to make this lesson, do this lesson, so, and that's through fear of the Lord, and that, and that you know, pers persuading men, and blowing that trumpet to wash that blood off of our hands. All right? 
so you will be held accountable for the things that you know all right and, and decide whether to take heed or forbear so anyway second corinthians 5 and 11 therefore with unknowing uh, therefore the terror of the lord we persuade men but we are made manifest unto the heavenly father and i trust also are made manifest in your consciousness so let me go from there i got a couple more and i'm gonna wrap up this is ephesians 5 and verse 15 it says see then you walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise Redeeming the times because the days are evil. The redeeming the times meaning to buy back the time or to make good use of the time that we have now because the days are evil. All right, it ain't about sitting. A, a, I mean, brothers, you know, brothers ain't going up in no, no, no Vlad TV or, or, I mean, the real brothers. I mean, I've seen somebody asking to be on a show or whatever, but a particular, you know, camp, camp leader in the, from another group. But anyway, you know, it's straight prophecy, man. All right. If, if brothers was ever to, you know, that, that spotlight was to ever shine, it's straight prophecy. We have nothing to say that's, you know, that, that you know, to glorify ourselves. We bring out the truth. Yahweh, Yahweh shot the 12 tribes, America being the struggle, who the Edomites are, the MOTB, the mark of the B E A S T. You know what I'm saying? That, that's all it's about. You know, so anyway, it's so redeeming the times because the days are evil. The days are evil, and these things are about to go down. All right. This is the book of um, Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. It says, And that knowing the time for, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed. So now is the time to get up out of that sleep. You know, some guys are still sleeping, but they think they woke. You know, you, 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 um, you snoozing on that alarm clock. You know, you ain't, you ain't woke. You ain't start your day yet. You better start the day because, you know, darkness is about to fall. It's about to be midnight. Well, it is midnight, but it's about to be straight darkness out here. <sighs> this is the book of Psalms 90 and I start 11. It says, who knows the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. You see that? Even according to the fear of the Lord, so is his wrath. Everything that happens, death, life, war, peace. Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, talk about that. You know, everything that happens is the Heavenly Father. So life and death and fear and wrath comes from the Lord. The worst case scenario, anything that ever took place on this earth that's terrible, the Heavenly Father did it. And we ain't see terrible yet because um, pursuing the Daniels 12 and 1, it's going to be a time of trouble such as never, bo never before seen on this planet Earth. Where we're going to need protection, where people are going to drop on their knees and beg and pray and ask the Most High to save them. Knowing that they ain't do what they were supposed to do in, in these times, it's gonna get it's gonna get bad. It's gonna get bad. So all you half-ass Israelites out there that know you Israelites, but you know you, you bullshitting or pussyfooting, you know which you know I remember that word from way back in 34th Street, man. The apostle did a uh, when it was out on the street, it's like you know getting on all these other you know all these Israelites that know that they're Israelite, but they ain't teaching. This is going back in the, probably 07, 08 when that video was made, but I seen it later, you know 08 or something, but. The pussy fun thing, man. Listen, stand bold for Yahweh Shah. All right, or else he ain't gonna defend you in that time. All right, so it says, um, Psalms 90 and 11. Who knows the power of thine anger, even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, so we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. And we, we have been taught to number our days, so to speak. All right, redeeming the times because we know, we understand. I'm talking about the men from the apostles, elder bishops, elder brothers, teachers on down. All right, we understand that the time, the time is evil. We redeeming the times. We are numbering this damn man's kingdom. The clock is ticking. We we don't we see the clock and the clock is prophecy. All right, but we we don't have the, the actual time where it's going when that clock is going to stop. Neither do we need it. We it's all about faith at the end of the day. So what are we supposed to be doing in these times? apply our hearts unto wisdom and also like the scriptures say um knowing these things and um, peter's knowing these things going to be dissolved meaning world war three the elements are going to be burnt up let me get that real quick because that's the final that's the final prophecy all right or one of the final prophecies Um, the book of Second Peter, chapter three, and 
verse 11. It says, seeing then, let me read verse 10. 11 actually. And then I'm in the head, Lord willing. It says, 2 Peter 3 and 9. 2 Peter 3 and 9, it says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering toward us word, not willingly, not willingly that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So the day of our Lord is coming as a thief in the night when people least expect it. Just like that, World War Three. After after the, the implementation of that M A R K under people's skin, the triple six, the the the, B, the beast mark or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to use you know cold words so the algorithm don't pick it up. But the Revelation at 13th chapter that's gonna cause all people to buy and sell and so on and so forth. Once that's implemented, then we know the Lord is going to be ready to make his way to deliver his elect and to destroy his place. So it's not going to come as a thief so much for the men that's watching, but for everybody else, it's going to come as a thief. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. And that's going to be done by the way of thermonuclear destruction, ICBM missiles. All right. Keep watch. Take keep keep an eye on what Russia is doing, China is doing, Pakistan, Korea, North Korea, South Korea, and, and these different other kingdoms. Watch what they're doing, because these are going to be the, some of the same people that are going to come up and, and bomb this place. Verse 11 says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of person ought you to be? So seeing that all these things are going to happen, it's going to be burnt up and destruction's coming what kind of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness looking for and hasting unto the coming of the lord wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat nevertheless we according to his promise look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein the, wherein dwelleth righteousness wherefore beloved seeing that ye look for such things be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless that's the point. That's why we try our best to be diligent. That's why we give diligence to make our calling election sure. All right. That's why we do this, that we may be found in peace. We doing whatever it takes to be found in peace without spot and blameless without spot, meaning without blemish, like that perfect sacrifice. Like he was, he was a perfect sacrifice without blemish. He was blameless. He was in peace. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? This thing is deadly serious. So anyway, man. You know, I mean, you know, I went 38 minutes, 39 minutes, almost 40 minutes. But, you know, that's all I got to say on that. You know, and this was, again, touching on that video from Vlad TV, Math Hofer, you know, the battle rapper. You know, hey, if you ever watch this video or even, you know, whoever's watching this video or you know, came this far, not just him, anybody, you know, hey, get serious, man. If you ain't serious, get serious. All hell is about to break loose. All hell is about to break loose in society and the Lord is getting ready to visit this place. Okay? He's getting ready to visit this place in which he made. And and that's it. You know, I'm going to end it here. I pray and hope to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Kodash that this was an edifying lesson to the elect of the nation of Israel. You sincere listeners, you know, and to you scoffers, man, to hell with you. You know, Baba Ball and Shalom to the elect. Shalom.